Welcome to the video training on deploying a Seneca security server using the orchestration tool called Maestro. Maestro will optimize your server for the VMS software, including NVR settings, VMS software selection, XConnect agent setup, Seneca backup, and recovery to mitigate future risk of catastrophic failure, as well as helpful support tools to streamline product support. For the purposes of this tutorial, we have utilized the Milestone Systems VMS setup as an example. This video will guide you through the Maestro orchestration software and show all steps to take a new server from first boot to the point of being ready to configure your VMS. Once system is booted and Windows setup is complete, Maestro will automatically start and go through the NVR optimization process. During this process, no manual input is required. Maestro will optimize OS performance, power settings, and apply recommended NIC settings for maximum reliability and performance. The server will be optimized to perform as a video recording appliance with settings and configurations implemented within a few minutes. We have learned it is very important to give the customer a chance to change the computer name or join a domain before SQL is installed. Otherwise, it will take great efforts to uninstall and reinstall SQL after joining a domain. During this setup process, you can decide what to name this server and join a domain with a user ID and password. If the system is connected to a domain through the network, it is important to have this server join the domain to not impact the SQL instance for the VMS. Once NVR optimizations are finished, the server will complete a cleanup and reboot to save all settings and configuration. The second boot will require you to change your Windows Administrator login password. Our servers ship with a default administrator password set to password. You'll be forced to change this upon first login. From the menu on the left, click on the tab for your VMS application's name with setup after it. Again, for the purposes of this tutorial, we are using the Milestone VMS configuration. After selecting this option, you will go through the VMS installation process. If this server will be added into the existing deployment, you can choose Yes to install your VMS components from the existing management server. If you choose to install a VMS component from an existing management server, Maestro will prompt for the IP address of the management server and then present you with a list of installers available. This could be client applications, mobile server, or recording server service, to name a few. The installers will then be downloaded from the management server and automatically executed. This option allows you to componentize this particular server for its sole purpose and greatly reduce installation time if not all components are needed. If this is a new deployment, click No. In this video, we are demonstrating a complete VMS all-in-one installation. The Maestro application will now run through the standard VMS installation wizard. The time it takes for the VMS software installation may vary depending on the system you have. Congratulations! The Seneca server has now finished installing the VMS software, and you can start the camera setup and configuration for the system. Now the system is ready for configuration. After installation is complete, we now have a few more steps to fully optimize and protect your system. The remaining step within Maestro is selecting SBAR, Seneca Backup and Recovery. This is the opportunity for you to make a backup of the system, including the operating system, and VMS configurations. Essentially, any changes you have made to the system since it was powered up for the first time can be backed up at this time. Note this only backs up your operating system volume, not any additional storage volumes. The Seneca server comes with a USB drive installed to store the backup files, so they are available for future recovery needs. You will have a complete backup of the server configuration on the local drive, so you'll be fully protected from any potential catastrophic failure. Once you select SBAR within Maestro, you have five options. The first option is used to backup OS volume onto our included USB drive. The second option is used to recover the system from system backup captured earlier. The third option is used to backup factory OS into external USB storage. The fourth option is used to update the factory default image in the hidden partition. The last option is used to create a new factory default image. All VMS systems have a default factory image saved in a hidden partition on the HDD. Most VMS systems have an internal USB storage on the motherboard, which can save two system backups. If you try to save the third system backup, the first one will be erased. The most common case for SBAR is for system recovery. In the normal way to recover a system, you have to install OS, Windows updates, drivers, VMS software, VMS patches, and configurations. With SBAR, only a few clicks will bring your system from scratch to a known good status, fully configured state, and ready to use. We highly encourage our customers to take advantage of all features SBAR provides. 
please reach out to our customer care line if you have any questions about your Maestro installation.